everyone, today we're going to find stuff from nature to make a little nature craft. Day nature! Look how many acorns I found. And this is what we found. Let's go home and see what we can do. Hi guys, so the other day we went collecting acorns and pine cones, as you saw in the other part of the video. That's what we found. And let's make some acorn animals out of it. Oh, and pine cone animals. So I already made these. My dad helped me with these. I made these two, he made these three. So let's get right into this. First, you need a couple of acorns. A couple. You need an acorn, a pokey, stabby, pony thing. And then just get right into it. So this is for one of the legs. We're using matches and legs. You do not need to use matches for legs. This is just what we're using. Do not play with fire, guys. You can also use like toothpicks and stuff like that. Here? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, that's good. Use a couple of matches. Make sure to get an adult help with pokey things, or scissors, or matches. These things like fly, so you're gonna like. <laughs> and that's where we're gonna find that. Okay, just put one in. Okay, in there. Bigger. If you do small holes, the match might not fit or whatever you're using, so make sure to make it a little bit bigger. I'm making a hole for a neck, then I'm gonna put the head on there. Her. Is we have made the full body. Now let's make the tail, the thing, and the other <laughs> and the things that unicorns have. So I made a little hole for the tail. So we have some pipe cleaners here. And I'm just gonna cut a little end, a little trim. So I'm just making the holes for the eyes and the horn. Put in the long pipe cleaner. Like not, don't cut it yet. In stick, add in, grab the scissors, I all wise, and I just gotta get the other one, and that will be it for the eyes. Like, I need that. Easy as pie. I'm gonna make this. For the horn. Da. Okay. So we need to that big. You can shake the horn to make it look more like a horn. So let's just. Uh, so we shake the horn. And now I'm going to. Um, make the mane. For the mane, you need a poke a hole in the back of the head, and then you need a poke a hole lower on the body. So now we're going to put the pipe cleaner. I cut it to this size. It should be about this size. Put it in the bottom first. This might be a little bit hard for my little hands to do. Air good, not mine. Good. Yeah, I like that shape. That's so cute. I love it so much. So I've made the unicorns. So the unicorn is done, but you can also accessorize your unicorn. You can put little, little gems on it. You can put some. You can put a scarf around its neck. You can put some little jewelry on it. I'm going to put this little cutie mark 
this cutie mark stands for. I like gems. Like I like I make things up like it just means prettiness. It means prettiness. Now these now what I'm using is not stick on, so I'm going to hot glue it. Make sure you get an adult to do this. I have my dad behind the camera. So so I've got the hot glue on. Now it's time to put it on. I'm gonna have to here we go. I made a little cutie mark. So this is the finishing look of the unicorn. Let's be friends forever! Yeah! And guys, this is not over yet. We're still gonna make a hedgehog. So this is the pine cone that we're using. It's very pretty. Well, it's not put, it's in covered in brown, but it's cute. So let's use these little sequins. I put gold stuff over there. See these little sequins. For, let's use little sequins for the ears. So these are the ears on the hedgehog. They look like a mouse right now. Now I'm going to add this little gem as the nose with hot glue. So my glue gun ran out of battery, so I'm using glue dots. Let's stick the very purple nose. Little cutie little mouse. I'm sorry, but it looks more like a mouse, not a hedgehog. Trying to make a hedgehog, but we can. Um, what comes? Oh yeah, the eyes. So let's see what we have to work with. We have pink, green, we have blue, and we have pepper. You guys know what I'm gonna choose? Guess right now. Guess at. All of you at home, guess what you think the two are gonna be. I'm gonna choose pink and blue. Pink and blue are the lucky winners. So I love these because I love art and they're really, 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 really fun to make. Especially this guy over here. Hi. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, anything is possible. I'll see you guys on next time.